The end has come in Dark Knight's Metal issue 6. As the Batman who laughs unravels his hostages' bandages, the Justice League is taken by the Dark Knights. Wonder Woman and Lady Blackhawk continue their fight against the Dark Universe creations that have come through the Dark Universe. Blackhawk doesn't really like Diana's plan of taking them out inch by inch since the Earth is now fully sunken into the Dark Universe. Diana bangs on her gauntlet, calling the Justice League into action and awakening them, causing them to fight the Dark Knights. Mr. Terrific calls on Plastic Man to help and the hero frees himself from his egg form, attacking the Dark Universe creations. Patrick reveals that the mace Wonder Woman has is not enough to kill Barbatos and there is something deep within the portal near Barbatos that can help. Blackhawk and Wonder Woman head to the portal below Barbatos and Blackhawk says Diana needs to wield the mace as there is too much dark metal in her at the moment. She says that from the beginning Barbatos has tried to separate them and make them alone but Diana can call the heroes back. Holding her lasso and giving the other end to Lady Blackhawk, Diana plunges into the portal, where inside she finds the monstrous Carter Hall crawling to the top of it. Carter crawls from the portal after seeing Kendra is alive. Barbados attacks him for betraying him, saying that the Dark Knights have conquered the world and the multiverse. The Ultra Mathul arrives, complete with Batman from across the multiverse, Cyborg and Raven. As Diana dives into the molten portal, Kendra tries to talk with Carter, telling him who she is and the history they have shared. Because of this and Wonder Woman diving into the Forge of Worlds, the Forge reignites and the 10th metal armoured Wonder Woman, Superman and a newly de-aged Batman arrives back as they try and get Cyborg to bring the Ultima Thule around to them so Batman can stop Barbatos. Doing so, the ship is destroyed by the Bat God, who attacks them with his Joker dragons. Riding one of the dragons, Batman helps Aquaman and Green Lantern, giving them some of the 10th metal armor as well. As the heroes are all freed from the engine by Dr. Fate, Green Arrow, and Nightwing's team, Carter Hall regains his own humanity, using his monstrous form to attack Barbatos, who calls on the Batman Who Laughs to enact the final plan. In his own cave, the Batman Who Laughs sets up his hostage, the Overmonitor, and the Monitor Brain, getting ready to destroy the entire universe. Batman arrives and attacks the Dark Knight, and both Batman beat each other until the Batman who laughs wins, saying, a Batman always wins. Before he can kill Bruce, the Dark Knight is attacked by the Joker. Teaming up with Batman, they both attack the Batman who laughs. Above, the League continue their battle with the Dark Universe and Barbatos. Barbatos, however, beats Carter, but he is saved by Kendra, who flies straight through Barbatos. Having defeated their Dark Knight, Batman takes the Overmonitor and escapes the cave and regroups with the League. The Monitor says that if there is enough 10th metal on Earth, since it is in every human being and living thing on Earth and in the universe, they might be able to raise the Earth from the Dark Universe. Standing in a circle, they use the metal and the heroes channel their energy into every person still on Earth, raising it from the darkness and even breaking the source wall up in the process. In the aftermath, all of the heroes gather at Bruce's mansion for a party, where Bruce gives a speech saying that the world is now right again and the Bat God is chained back at the bottom of the dark multiverse and the house of heroes in the multiverse is being rebuilt. He is grateful for his friends for helping him and for pulling him back from the darkness when he fell into it. He reveals another reason he brought them to their house and gets Kendra to tell them. Kendra stands and reveals that Carter Hall survived the ordeal and he will live, but he is currently resting. But before he rested, he wrote one last time in his journal, detailing the future and what is in store for the heroes, including many long dormant dark forces being reawakened thanks to what happened on Earth. Bruce says that with the source wall broken, it's revealed their world to forces from outside their universe and they need to be ready for what comes after them meaning they need to strengthen the League. Before they face what's coming, however, Bruce wants them to enjoy the night, revealing that Damien and John are playing rock music in the hall next door to all of the other heroes who join them. During the party, Bruce pulls Diana and Clark aside, taking them to his private study where he wants to show them his plans for the Hall of Justice. Dark Knight's Metal Issue 6 was a fantastic action-packed issue of this balls-to-the-wall event that had some awesome ramifications spin out of the Justice League, defeating a literal Bat God. 
I really love that while it was a Batman centric story at its core with all of the aspects coming from Scott Snyder's Batman series as well as Grant Morrison stuff and a bunch of other stuff, every hero got a moment throughout this event and really it ended with everyone being the saviour and not just one person, not just you know Batman being the saviour, it was like a group effort which I found very cool. The ending also teased some future events that sound very fantastic like the Lanterns fighting the Dawn Stars which we've seen teased in Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, Atlantis rising from the ocean and the ramifications that would have, and the Justice League opening its ranks and setting up the Hall of Justice. Dark Knight's Metal was an awesome ride and I can't wait to see what No Justice delivers to the DC Universe and whatever else Scott Snyder has in store for us. I'm going to give this issue a 10 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.